Welcome back everyone. It's one o'clock and that means it's tea time with SSD Mo and myself, Susan, and we are volunteers for Susquehanna Service Dogs and we are here today with Mo's first litter of puppies and on this nice rainy spring day we're going to do something exciting. Right puppies? Puppies are much more active every day. They are growing. And if you'll notice today, they even have some harnesses on. I haven't tightened them all up yet. Um, they're a little bit loose. And now they're, of course, they're being, oh dear. They're being tutus. <laughs> they're chewing on them. But it's really important that the puppies get used to wearing harnesses. And you'll notice that some of them are not official SSD colors and designs, and that's because they're different fabrics and different materials, and the puppies just need to get used to that something being close on them and tight, because if they can't wear a harness, it makes it really hard for them to be a working dog. So right now, I would say that Glory could care less that he's got a harness on because he hasn't moved from his nap. But the other puppies are sort of awake. Now we just noticed that one of them gave a real dog-like shake. That was a new behavior that we hadn't seen before. Them shaking like a dog. And of course they're doing so much more playing. And it's much more organized. To them it is. To us it still seems rather random, but, but they're learning. And they're chewing on whatever body parts of their siblings they can find. And just kind of like being basic toddlers, just wiggling and moving and exploring the world. But that's what we need to do. We need to let them explore the world so that they can learn all about the world and be comfortable in whatever world that they are placed in. Clunk. And then they fall over. So what we're going to do today, remember I've been saying that they are outgrowing their space in here is we are going to open up the world to these puppies and give them a whole new area to explore and give them more toys and more experiences. Remember we're doing this all on a very step-by-step -step basis. All of this new experiences are a little bit of stress, a little bit of something new, and we don't want to overdo it for the puppies, but we want them to expose them to things just gradually. And then they become comfortable with it and they can go out in the world and be comfortable. So what I'm going to do is we're going to spin the camera around and show you their new space. And it's part of their whelping box. So what we have in here, I have towels on the floor. As you will see that there is the litter box back in the corner. Those are wood pellets. We used to use newspapers. And these wood pellets work so much better. The odor is reduced. The mess is reduced. It's just a, a bazillion times better. Now, of course, the puppies are not going to go, oh, litter box. I'm going to go over and potty in the box. They're still going to continue pottying wherever they want to. So I've covered the floor with towels. Um, we have a choice. I could leave the towels up and then just wipe up after the puppies all the time. But then you have wet puppies and it's a mess. So I put towels down, I've put some toys down, some that they're familiar with, but most of them are new. We're going to continue with the surfaces so that they just walk around and happen to walk across the surface, that's okay. Now the pile of blocks is there, they're wooden blocks. A few few years ago Nancy Fear said, you know, it's, it's kind of a shame that kids can't play with just plain old blocks anymore. All the toys have to be fancy and have noises and use batteries. And so all the puppies in this house get to play with blocks. And I've piled them because the puppies will come up and touch them. And then, of course, you know what will happen. They will fall down. So that's something new for the puppies to experience. And then they get used to it. I try to make every day the, the setting in their area look different to the puppies so that... It doesn't get humdrum and routine for them. So we're going to do the grand opening here. And what we do is we're going to pull up the one side. 
and they will be loose. Now, of course, they're all not going to go, oh, freedom, and we're going to run. The other thing is please remember that they don't know that there's a step here. They are going to fall, but they're flexible little babies, and they will learn. We have egg boxes, and we have a little wooden box to make the step a little bit easier for them, um, but they are going to slip and slide. It's, it's amusing, but we're really not hurting the puppies in any way, shape, or form. And in a few days, they'll go, boom, be bouncing up and down and do just fine. So I'm going to go around and pull the board up right now and then call the puppies and see if they, see if they come yet. Okay, we're going to move the toys, some of the stuffed animals, and look at that curiosity. There goes Joy. She's going, whoa, there's an edge there that wasn't there before. And she just fell off, but she did it nice and neatly. That is a nice controlled fall. And look at her. She's still exploring. That didn't bother her. She's still checking it out. Oh, a little bit. Okay, this is a little bit overwhelming. Let's stop and think about it. Take it all in and look at her. She's still going. Her nose is on the ground. Remember, that's how they explore their world with her nose. There's been lots of puppies in here before, so she's smelling lots of those smells. But I really like that forward motion that she's doing. She's a little bit worried, but her motion and body language is saying forward, explore. And that's exactly it. Here we go! <laughs> there goes Clarity. And he goes, oh, oh well, what's going on here? And he's exploring, and he's still going. So what you want to do is watch the dog's body positioning. So they're going forward, but is their body leaning forward or leaning backwards? And we have an escapee, which will happen. We don't quite have everything hooked up yet. Here comes another one. Oh, dear. And Serenity just fell down and went, whoa, what happened? Hmm, what's going on here? And he's exploring. We want to see that forward moment, movement. Now Joy's done the most exploring. Where's that face? That's Faith. And she's going, you know, I think I'm just going to stop and process for a minute. Which is fine. Remember, they're still babies. They get tired in a hurry. Uh-oh. There goes Serenity. Uh-oh, we have a pee on the wet towel, on the towel already. Very normal. Up, oh, and they're all off and running again. And still we have that exploring, which is really nice. Oh dear, oh dear. Serenity, we got to do something about your harness. It's really way too big. Maybe we'll take it off. There you go. And I will fix it for you. Um, there goes Clarity again. And he's not happy. Oh, and he's running into the X pen. Oh, wait a minute. These these walls that we've made are called X pens or exercise pens. They are wonderful. Really, one of the better things I've ever visited. They fold up into a nice and neat little pile, and then they unfold, and you can arrange them in a bazillion different ways and hook them together, make them bigger, make them smaller. And they're a great way to contain the dogs. They were used in, well, they still are, in the show dog world. When you're there with your vehicle and you need to exercise your dog before you go to the dog show. And this allows you to put your dogs out in a space that you wouldn't let your dogs loose in, but you can let the dogs exercise. So they are called X-Pens. And they're wonderful. Even though right now the puppies are going, wait a minute, I can see the world out there. Remember they've had boards on their side and they haven't been able to see the rest of the room so now they can and so they're checking it out okay here comes freedom maybe up and look randy's going up 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 this takes a while up oh, and there goes freedom and he just fell up this is really hard they're going up the step and he tried now he fell but they all get up and, like any little kid, and just continue onward. OK, 
Okay, here comes Joy. Hmm, Joy's looking and now uh, she came to the edge. Oh, she's checking it out. Hmm, and she's being a sensible whoa. There she goes. <laughs> There she goes. And she continues to explore, even though that was pretty scary. So that's one trait that we are looking for. The ability to hang in there and keep exploring and keep going. And There's a growl. That's the new vocalizations that they're coming up with. And she's growling. Um, Glory, you're still back there snoozing. Snoozing in the corner. Okay, come on, Glory. He's really asleep. Oh, my goodness. Oh, where am I? Where am I? And there he goes. Oh, what happened? Oh, gracious. And here comes Mo. Coming in and saying, what's going on with these kids? She's just checking them out. I think it's getting, it has to be getting towards lunchtime. I don't think they've eaten in a while. That was a question yesterday. How often is she now feeding them? To tell you the truth, I really don't know because it's not as often as it was and I'm not here for it quite often when she does. But it's probably every four or five hours. The puppies have gotten very efficient at slurping down lots of milk and very quickly. Yeah, I'll say it's lunchtime. No. Come on, Come on, Come on. In, 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 in. Come on, Mo. Ah, that's a girl. And Mo's not interested in the puppies anymore. She's going to wonder what all these new things. Wet floor. Okay, and look what they've learned. They can just about reach when Mo's standing up. Oh, man. They really got to work at it. You're going to be working for your meal. Oh my goodness. And this again is part of their learning curve. They're frustrated, so how do we solve this problem? And they're trying. <laughs> Joy, you're going the wrong direction. No, still checking things out. Bonk. Oh, the, the blocks just fell over. Okay, they're getting there. Can't quite reach it. They're almost. Are they figuring out if they get on the step now they can reach? Oh. And that's not helping matters at all. Oh dear. And this does become a problem where I will watch where Mo's on one side of the step and the puppy's oh. on the other. Come on, Mo. Come on, Mo. Come on. Come on. Oh, Lori made it. Yay, that's pretty cool. Look at that. Oh, Joy made it. Excellent. They made it up the step. Just gonna fall down again. Frustrated puppies. The world is not perfect. up and sit down. Will you, Mo? And then again, maybe not. Grab. Grab. They're just not quite big enough yet. Couple more days, kids. You'll be able to do this. Oh. Yeah. All right.
point. We're going to give up on Mo ever sitting down with her pups. I think she will in a few minutes. But with that, we're going to call it a day, a rainy day. Please remember everyone, for those that are around you, to give them a hug. Timmy and Sammy, your mom needs hugs. Scout, your mom needs hugs. Verity, Joan and Tim, Joan needs hugs. Lots of hard times going on right now. So everyone stay close, everyone be safe. Oh, that's right, and I forgot today is Megan's birthday. So happy birthday to Megan. And with that, we'll see you tomorrow at 1 o'clock, and we'll see what adventures the puppies have, have tomorrow. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.